Hey guys, what's up? Today I want to talk to you about my absolute favorite visual novel RPG and what I consider to be the best of them all. What the hell is a visual novel RPG? Not to be confused with those games like Persona or Trails of Cold Steel where there's a lot of reading but there's also a lot of battle, right? Those are turn-based RPGs with some visual novel elements. But also there's games like one of my personal favorites on the PSP, Fade Extra, which can be seen as a visual novel because there's a lot of text popping up in the screen and you gotta read through it all before you can get through the actual gameplay. This is not considered to be a visual novel RPG, but it's pretty close to what I consider to be a visual novel RPG. Pretty similar, for so to say. But it's not exactly a visual novel RPG. Games like the Utawire Mono series, those are visual novel RPGs because there's like one hour, probably more, two hours of just reading, reading and more reading, more dialogue and more dialogue over and over and then you finally get a break with a 15 minutes mission or 30 minutes mission, right? Before this game, my favorite of them all used to be Tears to Tiara 2 on the PS3. This is a visual novel RPG, there's a lot of reading and a lot of dialogue, like one hour, one hour and a half and then you finally get into the mission. This is a great game, I love it, totally recommend it, a hidden gem on the PlayStation 3. Then there are other games, visual novel, that are more visual novel than anything else, like uh, Tokyo Twilight, Ghost Hunters, and other games of the genre. So I've played a bunch of them. We haven't gotten a lot, most of these types of games usually stayed in Japan, but we've gotten a bunch of them ever since the PS2 era. And it just happens that the one game that I want to talk about today was released on the PS2 and the Wii. And I'm talking about this excellent game called Sakura Wars So Long My Love. This is a great game, it's considered to be a cross genre because it is a combination between a visual novel, a puzzle game and a strategy RPG, a turn based strategy RPG. Anyway, but what makes this game so goddamn good? What makes this game so great and in my opinion the best visual novel RPG of all? The first thing that stands out like crazy in this game is that unlike many other visual novel RPGs where you spend a lot of time reading, here, yes, it's the same, but every one minute, one or two minutes, or every five minutes, there's a decision to be made, and that adds up to the gameplay as a lot, because sometimes in most visual novel RPGs, you're just there, reading over and over and over and over, then you get to a decision, you choose something, and then more, like 30, 45 minutes of just reading, this game is not like that, there's a lot of reading to be done, but most of the time, like 90% of the time, the game, you are interacting with the game by making decisions. Sakura Wars is the only game in the entire franchise that's ever been localized. Soon, this very same month, in a couple of days, I think, we're gonna get a new Sakura Wars in this series for the PS4, Modern Systems, which is some something like a reboot or reimagining of the franchise. I don't know, but it turns out it's gonna be an action RPG. And this one was the first one. And this is a big franchise, very popular in Japan, but the only one we ever got was this one, maybe because it takes place in New York. It's about this Japanese uh, fresh new recruit who just graduated from, from the military academy and he gets transferred to the New York branch of this military organization. And it takes place in 1928, so you can imagine the lifestyle of, of living in New York at that time. And the game does capture that very same essence truthfully. And there's a lot of jazz, the entire soundtrack is so jazz, so blues, so representative of that era in New York. And I love that it's, this game has an amazing soundtrack. Now, it's a harem, and you realize most harems in JRPGs are kind of dumb, they're mostly dumb comedies, uh, light comedies, it's just something, uh, it's, it's kind of fun. But this game takes itself very seriously. When it needs to be funny, it is funny as hell, you laugh out loud. And when it needs to be serious, you're just there, like, biting your nails on what's about to happen. And it has some very emotional moments. And I love that about this game, because it makes you truly care about the characters a lot. Now, of course, it's a little bit of a cliché story. It's about the power of friendship and, you know, the deal, right? But, you know, I'd say it's one of those power of friendship games or power of friendship stories that are really good. And I mean it. I talked about decisions before and that's another feature of this game because you're making decisions every goddamn minute and these decisions, oh boy, do they matter. They matter a hell of a lot. 
because they influence the powers of your party members, which also happens to be these girls. If you don't level up in this game, you can't grind here. There's no leveling up system here as we know it. The leveling up, or rather the grinding, is, takes place during the decision making. If you decide, if you choose the right answer for the, for the certain girl, that girl is going to be stronger for the next battle, and so on with every other girl here in this game. Another gameplay mechanic that I mentioned is the puzzles. Of course, like I said before, puzzles are not really puzzles. They're just mini games where you just have to push the right button at the, at the same time, or at the correct time, or in the right order. And sometimes there's also these camera sessions where you're gonna take a really good picture, and the better the picture and the better the uh, result in the mini game, the better points you get with any of the girls, or all of the girls, or just one specifically. Last but not least are the battle mechanics in this game, which is a strategy RPG turn-based, but it's one of those where you gotta move around within limited areas, and the more you move, the more action points you spend. So you move around to position your characters, which fight in mechs, to the most convenient location, whether it's to attack an enemy, or to defend, or to heal, or whatever. It's all about strategizing, and it's easy, don't, don't worry, this game is not hard as hell, the balance is there, the challenge is also there, it's a hard game, but slightly hard, it's just perfect, you know, the battle mechanics are perfect, sometimes are easy, and sometimes are hard, it's just a perfectly balanced RPG. Honestly, before this game, I have never seen such an interactive visual novel, most visual novels that I played is just 80% just reading and then making decisions or 80% reading and then do some battle system like in Tears to Tiara but this game you are playing, you are gaming the entire game and that's why I think this is the best visual novel RPG of all time it's such a masterpiece of a game, great adventure, great character development, strong character development like I said before sometimes I was laughing my ass off and sometimes I was almost crying so you might be thinking, uh, which version is the best, the PS2 version or the, or the Wii version? Well, they have small differences. Like, I think the PS2 version is the best, and but this is a rare game, it's an expensive game, both versions go for over 50 bucks. Uh, this one is currently on the $60 range, and the PS2 is more expensive because it comes with this special edition, uh, with an artwork and a soundtrack, I think. But the PS2 version is slightly better because it glitches less, there's some glitches here and there in both versions, sadly. The truth of the matter is, you can't go wrong with either version. I strongly recommend this game, be it on the PS2 or the Wii, or if you guys use Dolphin to emulate this, don't feel bad because it's a rare game, expensive and hard to find. Sakura War, so long my love, what a masterpiece of a game, man. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends. See you next time!